Assalamualaikum and my name is Nur Farah Aini. Uh, today I would like to present about automotive industry supply chains. What is supply chain? Supply chain is the flow of material, information, money and services from raw material suppliers to factories and warehouse to end customer. The occurrence of unplanned event will affect the normal or anticipated the flow of materials and components which will lead to varieties of problems such as long lead time, stock out, inability to meet customer need and rises of cost. From the mentioned problem arise earlier, the performance of company will drop. As for example, in Japanese plan, Toyota Motor Corporation stopped their production due to the earthquake that badly impacted the Raikon Corporation, their biggest supplier for piston seal ring. The company, the company faced supplier delivery failure where the item was estimated to be delivered and supplied in six months. So the ability to manage risk plays an important role to ensure the smooth flow of product through the supply chain. The supply chain risk can be identified using appropriate methods such as risk ident identification probability versus impact graph, brainstorming, cost and effect diagrams or system flow chart. In this automotive supply chain project, the example of identify risk are disruptions or disaster that will affect labor dispute labor in availability and natural disasters such as earthquake, fire and flood. This problem can be overcome with engage with experienced consultant. While logistic risks were affect from border crossing and customer regulation, on time delivery to customers, delivery responsiveness and dependence on a single source of supply. This problem can be conducted with Logistic. Next is quality. The, the consequence of quality risk are value of product, product complexity, and is of problem resolution. The potential response for quality is quality control inspection from quality department. Next is forecast. The consequence of forecast is an inaccurate forecast, lead time variance, and product demand variations. The potential response for forecast is conduct with experienced consultant. Next is procurement. The consequence of pro procurement risk is part price, action rate risk, and contract compliance. Potential response of procurement is, con con is consultant with procurement catalyst. Lastly is supplier dependence which is product uniqueness on time delivery from vendor supplier location and flexibility of supply source. The potential response of supplier dependence is engaging with some with more suppliers. Thank you, Ani. I am Arif and I will continue on risk monitoring and control plan. Okay, first is introduce supply mon monitoring system. This system is primarily used to monitor supply, logistic and supply efficiency. In in this situation where a, a single provider trigger delivery issue, the control device is an efficient tool for invest investigation for the production of order fulfillment. Second is newly monthly report to monitor raw material. The production of monthly report on price growth and status is now fixed a component that did not occur many years ago. The company with transfer report will pursue in hedging, hedging position. Third is monitoring supply. The finance security of vendor is the core component of risk monitoring by continuous and reliable tracking of the vendor. For example, if a supplier company X had returned over 30%, it is tracked as the disclosed his market growth annually. Fourth is establish supply risk team to enable efficiency monitoring. A lamp system developed to track 
supply tree where co- where performance and logistics and finance risk are main key area that are regulated. Fifth is audit to monitor finance stability. The method of finance risk management is supervised of production of supply. The second assessment takes place three months after the pre-audit to assess the success of in- intervention action and have to a- to them analyze. Next, the success criteria. It must be a practical and not overburden sum. Second, it must be quick to implement and easy to maintain. Third, it must have a visual reporting mechanism. Fourth, is supply based and capture temporary change in risk. Fifth, it must be able to provide early warning signal for potential problem.